Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do a review. This is a 2014 5085M John Deere with the H260 front loader on it. This is an open station. It's four wheel drive. We use it to move our 2019 E15 15 foot bat wing. Red already cut. So we've had this thing for about, oh my god, it's 2023. We've had it nine years. Wow, that's fast. We only have uh, 800, I wanna say we have 810, six hours? 806 hours on it. Uh, it sits outside most of its life. It's been a good little tractor. I just had to do the, I uh, just finally did the wheel hubs, did the front axle. And then uh, at 600 hours, I did like everything back there. I did the hydraulic fluid in the rear, did the transmission for the second time, oil change, fuel filter was done at 749 hours with the oil change. So it's been a very good tractor overall. Oh, also we had to do the coolant, but I did that like three years ago because they say I had to do it every seven years. So it's been a great truck. Uh, it's been a great tractor for what it is. Um, we don't use it to do anything too heavy. Um, I actually used it to pull all the fence posts up along here and then through here and then up to our guest house. I did that. Um, I actually did, I have my uh, cable um, that I, this is, we didn't have the remote, the hydraulic remotes for the front. So I actually steal them from the rear. So that way you get to use them here so i just have them hooked back they're just sitting in here for right now so it's pretty awesome when you do it like that that way you can get full access um so you can use the joysticks up here to control i have a pincher up there at the barn and then this thing just slaps in there um to be honest for the 85 horsepower that this is that bat wing is way too much because when we get up to our hill up here this thing absolutely cannot pull that. You have to do like little laps and you have to go around the back of the property where it's a little bit flatter just to pull the bat wing, which is super, uper annoying, um, which is, yeah. It's a pretty good rotary cut, um, except this shield broke off. Um, this thing might only have 85, 100 hours on it. Um, but again, it's the E version, so what can you expect? And John Deere's quality the last few years is just mind-boggling to me. You spend, uh, I think that right now costs twenty-five grand. I think we got it for like eighteen thousand in two thousand nineteen. So you know, inflation. <laughs> it's like, why is that seven grand more for the same thing? Um, and then this in here, um, just you know, nine-year-old tractor deteriorating like it's a fifth-year-old tractor. That seat is so far gone. I tried cleaning that so many times. Um, it's just a pain to keep up on, but it just keeps growing mold. And unfortunately, it just sits outside most of its life. Um, what can I say? The transmission, it's pretty good. Um, it's not as smooth as the new ones are, but it operates like it should. Um, I think it's got top speed. I've gotten it up. I actually just had it out there on the road today, which I'm probably sure you're not supposed to. But I had that going like 17. I was pulling that. I was kind of scared about those tires in the back. Because I've had to put tubes in these things so many times already. Because um, they just, deer antlers just destroy them. Talking about deer antlers, these um, Goodyear tires are the biggest load of crap I've ever seen. Um, you can just see how they get eaten up by just things out in the pasture. <laughs> like, they're not like doing anything hard. Uh, I think like right there, there's, this tire's probably been plugged five or six times on the front. Uh, which is uh, lousy. And then this big one right here. It's had a few punctures. I think this one's only got patched twice. So I think we're doing good there. So, but overall though, um, it's pretty fuel efficient. It burns a little bit under two gallons per hour while you're operating it, which I think is not too bad for how massive the, for, I know it's not massive, but to me, this is a big tractor. So it's not too bad. Uh, maintenance is easy to do. Parts are easy to find. Um, not too much. Uh, what else? Oh, the power is pretty good if you're just not pulling that. If you're pulling a 10 foot, you're good to go. If you're not, um, when I had the pinchers and I was pulling these posts, it was like popsicle sticks. It was so much fun, so easy to use. 
Uh, the only other annoying thing is just dealing with the John Deere, uh, John Deere dealers trying to get parts and stuff. Because I guess, you know, there's so many configurations of everyone's tractor. Just getting the right filter sometimes. You actually see I put a CarQuest one on there. Um, last time just because it was easy to go get. And I actually bought like a whole bunch. So that way I don't have to mess around with John Deere. Because if I don't have to go to John Deere, I don't want to go to John Deere. I uh, hate overpaying for stupid little stuff like that. It's an oil filter. Um, go get one for uh probably off like a diesel in, uh a diesel truck but still i'm not gonna overpay for that um just the only other thing too because i'm comparing this from we had an 80s 600 series and um the differences between that and this um again this is modern it starts up it's still on its same battery from nine years ago I'm not joking with that. Like, literally have not replaced the battery. I keep thinking every spring when I start this thing up that that's just going to be dead on dead on demand. But it works. So, um, you know, paint fades a little bit. Or powder coat. It's not. There's no clear coat on this. And the other fun thing, too, is when you start replacing all your stuff on, like, the engine. You start doing maintenance. Finding out, like, John Deere must literally just spray paint this stuff on. Like, why? Like, you know you're putting a wrench on that. So, you know it's going to come peeling off. But, eh, it looks better when it's new, so I guess there's that. But I want to know in the comments uh, if you guys have one of these or if you're thinking about buying one of these. I would recommend getting one of these um, because, oh, this also is the tier. When we bought this, that didn't have to put DEF fluid in it. This actually just has a particulate filter, so it has to go into regen mode, um, which isn't too bad. As long as you don't do like small trips, like small little tasks in this, and like start and stop it, start and stop it, um, you're really good. Um, that was just the, actually when we bought that, that was the first thing we had to get used to because um, we don't. Um, this is only 60 acres, so and we only cut these fields three to four times a year. I mean, the, these are fields like this, um, like this grass, like this lawn grass. Yeah, this gets cut every week during the summer, so that's the difference. Um, so when we first had it, we just had a problem with the, the particulate filter getting uh, clogged. But it's really easy, though, because they give you the... You can just put it right into regen mode um, when you're in park. And that solves all your problems. So, oh, the other thing I don't like, too, is look at how well the buttons are just fading over time. I mean, again, I guess it's a 10-year-old um, John Deere, but, yeah, I just expected higher quality out of John Deere than uh, this. But... It's a give and a take. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy a John Deere on my own, though. But uh, I wouldn't do that again. So um, this is my aunt's tractor. So I don't have to worry about that. Because, uh, honestly, for the quality, it's not great. And the same thing with the E15. It's like, for the price you pay, eh, yeah. yeah, I don't think it's there anymore. But, unfortunately, that's just John Deere for you. It does look good though, having the two side by side. So, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.